Hey, what's going on? This is EJ Uno, and I am back doing a talk about, talk about vlog, I don't know what you want to call it, about the Metro PCS and the new phones they have, and whether you should get it, trying to tell you the best advice that I would go about doing it, and hoping that, you know, I can help out with you making your pick. I know a lot of people ask me questions about cell phones on there, so... Um, I know I do a lot of reviews on phones, but I've been kind of like staying clear of like, you know, buying more phones and all that stuff just because it's just, it comes out of my own pocket and I'm just waiting for something good to come along because, you know, I, I always want to come along and tell you guys the best deal, but really to tell you the truth, like, um, uh, I'm, I really just been like, I've been so satisfied with my Samsung No 9 that I'm just like, wow like i'm blowing them away because i'm talking about i have all the phones that you as my subscribers new subscribers go look at my video i have had a lot when i tell you a lot a lot phones a lot a lot phone a lot of phones it's ridiculous but this one like literally satisfied me and i'm going to tell you why you know what i'm saying but before i get to doing that um and um Let's just get right into it. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Let's get right into it. I'm going to cut to the Metro PCS um, site. So I'm going to do a screen record. So let's get right into it. Okay, so right now we are on the Metro by T-Mobile site. Uh, first of all, it's letting you know, like, about the $99 for the iPhone SE, which is, I guess, is a pretty good deal, but, uh, a little bit misleading, because if you read, you know, six months, you pay $100, so, I mean, it's kind of like, <laughs> I just like to touch base on that by saying that, you know, it's, it's basically like, they give you $200, and then you, you have, um, service for six months, so basically, it's like you don't get your money back; you're only paying for your services back. But anyway, let's get right into that. Okay, so like I said before, the reason why I'm so satisfied with my Samsung S9 is because when I come across these type of phones, as in the Samsung A21 and the Samsung A51 5G. And they look nice on paper. Even the Samsung A11. Let me see what else they have. Do they have anything else? Um, now the Samsung Galaxy 25G S25 G. Yeah, okay, that's 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 a beast. But dealing with these two. Okay, first of all, let's start with the one to to the left, my left, whatever. Samsung A21. First of all, some they give it 2.8. I I can see why. Uh, <laughs> uh, let me tap on that. So let me back it up. Okay, it's saying a lot of good stuff. It's telling you that the A21 has a 6.5 inf inf infinite display. Yeah, that's cool right there. And uh, given a look around it, let's take a look around this right here. Uh, now, I saw this phone in person. It looks nice, but, you know, it looks so deceiving in my category. Uh, let you know that it has like what like four cameras on it. Okay, that's cool But uh, you I, I think people say the best it doesn't matter how many cameras you have on a phone. It depends on the 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 lens and somebody told me that a long time ago. This is before Before like two cameras came along or three or four camera came along This is back like in the day like back in the day it somebody told me something like that And I didn't believe it. They just said it doesn't matter how many cameras you have on a phone it doesn't matter how you can say your 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 lens is like 24 megapixel and the other person has 16 it all depends on the lens and that's what when you see like a google phone and you see them talking about oh man they keep it one can't one lens and sometimes they have two on there i think they built like a google pixel with two but still it the thing takes fantastic i mean i i have a google pixel 2 xl and i'm telling trying to tell you that it is it, it's it's nice you know i mean it doesn't beat my note my note nine but it's not um so let's get back into it, it says long lasting battery that's a four thousand milliamp battery it tells you it's a 6.5 infinity display uh quad 
camera 16 megapixel 8 megapixel ultra wide and 2 megapixel depth sensor that's cool um now let's get to the resolution if you see the resolution it says 720 by 16 megapixel and that's not good at all it's not it's not even super amlet it's just i think it's just lcd or whatever on that so, i mean hey if, if you're not really into quality and you just want to see if your phone can last that long then i mean the, the this is the phone for you <laughs> for real but look at that chin that is a uh, big chin that's like that that's crazy but i know if you but this if it helps you out and you like this type of phone this phone's only um 19 when you switch over from a different carrier and look at my other videos or comment below and i can tell you how to get this phone for 19 dollars. or just go look at my other videos and i can and, and you know like subscribe do all that good stuff <laughs> and i'll tell you how to get it done anyway so um so you know it has an all day 44 000 million battery the thing the reason why i didn't go for this phone is because Second of all, first, second of all, first of all, the phone is, how should I say it? It's nice. It only has 32 megapixel cameras, 32 megapixel. It only has a uh, 32 internal memory. And for me, guys, 32 is not a lot. Like, seriously, like, I have never been satisfied with a 32 internal memory I, I just, I really haven't. It just, and people, they say, oh, well, you can transfer your apps over. You can transfer. That's the, the internal memory still takes on pressure when you're downloading stuff. And I'm telling you, like, if you're a heavy user like me, you will use this up in literally a month. Like, nowhere to lie. Like, it'll, it'll be a waste of money. Even $19 will be a waste for me to get this phone. So, that, so, but if, if you're not a person who's big, like, on memory and, and you, and I guess the, I don't know, I never tested the camera out, but I mean, if $19 isn't a lot, you know what I'm saying? It's cool, but I don't know. I, I wouldn't get it. It's, it's, it's not something I would go and get. So let's get out of that and let's go to the next one. Okay. Let me go back. Okay. Let's talk about the big one that I've been waiting on. And I'm going to give my input on this one. This is, we're going to talk about, uh, okay, now, first of all, if you don't have, uh, before I get into that, if you don't have, let's see, my phone's messing up for a minute, guys, sorry about that. If you don't have a number to switch over, you will be paying a 259 plus whatever other taxes or crap that Metro wants to try to rob out of your pocket or steal from your pocket. <laughs> but uh i want to say like okay the samsung galaxy a51 5g i'm going to tell you why i do not think this phone is worth 500 dollars, and it's a big reason so let's get right into it um learn more okay let me i don't know why this thing is not about to touch up Oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. Just trying to see when it's going to... Cam's going to come up experience some technical differences. Oh. Okay, so I'm back right now. And I don't, I, I don't know what happened. But anyway... So we're with the Samsung Galaxy A51 5G. First of all, I'm not gonna bash this phone because it, you know it's capable of 5G. That's cool because that's the new one coming up. Um, it's saying you know it, it has 45 milliamp battery. That's really good. 128 gigabyte of storage. That's real good. Um, like I said, it's 499, but if you switch over, it's 250. And uh, I, I mean that that's that's good. I mean that's how much you would pay on eBay anyway for something. Maybe a little twenty dollars more you probably pay, but and you can get it unlocked. I mean, <laughs> just to let you know. Um, it. Uh, let's take a look around this phone. Let's see how it is. Uh, okay. So first of all, that back is plastic. Okay, I. It's not wireless. It doesn't even have IP68. So you need to take that $449 and then, you know, take that off because it's it's only plastic and nothing about that phone is 
long lasting at all. Like it's it's not. Like first of all, I, that's that's one reason why it shouldn't be. It has a 48 megapixel lens camera. But to tell you the truth, I had this phone in the past, and I had the A31. Well, I don't think I I, I want to say I did have some. I'm not sure, but I had the eight, I had the one right before it. But anyway, I, it was 48 megapixel camera. I have had a Motorola that's 48 megapixel camera, and I'm trying to tell you, and I have a Note 9. First of all, the pictures don't look no different that I have saw. Like, they, they really do. has a 6.5 Super AMOLED display. My Note 9 is a 6.4. This is an inch bigger than my Note 9. An inch bigger. You really probably, I probably really couldn't even tell, but it literally is an inch bigger than my Note 9 in the Super um super amulet infinity display okay now I, I like that it has a hole a punch hole in it and it's all circle around that that's pretty cool that it's all like the the, the cameras in the hole that's that's cool though and it has 45 mega, uh 45 milliamp battery i would say something if my note 9 was acting up but the battery i have is pretty good super steady mode camera okay that's that's cool um i'm pretty sure this phone has it as I mean, if it don't, I mean, that's whatever. I'm not missing out on too much. Um, low light and flaw defects. Okay. Uh, on screen. Okay. That's the new thing. On screen finger uh, sensor. Okay. I have had a phone. I've had phones that have um, on display finger. To me, it's cool. But it really gets on my nerves. Like, for real. Like, I'm trying to tell you, like, it sounds cool, but if I mean if I got a phone like that, that'd be cool. But it, it t when you have a in display fingerprint sensor, it really gets on your nerves. It really does because it's just some stuff like it, it just doesn't need to be there. Like yeah, I, I wish they would give you the option of maybe having a fingerprint sensor on the side of the phone and then have one on the on the screen because it would give you the option because it, you would have to experience what i'm experienced because sometimes you pull up an app and you got to go through like little like things that tell you to accept this and accept that and sometimes your fingerprint sensor will get in the way of that so that's that's the reason why um now you know about this 4g cable uh 4g um pro grade a pro grade shot with a tap okay that's cool um, that's cool. I mean, I, I mean, if, to me, it's not worth four ninety nine. I mean, that's all that it says about this phone. Like I said, if it's gonna be four ninety nine, the phone is going to be the the phone is going to be worth it. It, it really is. Like I'm not gonna pay four ninety nine. I wouldn't even pay the two fifty for this phone because it's not because I'm not gonna walk inside a Metro PCS and get this for two fifty. Even if I did the switch, I think I called today and it's about three fifteen. And tell you the truth, they they're probably going to, and that was with me adding it to like three or four lines already. So you come out paying about four hundred dollars, if not close to it, for this phone. But the major reason why I wouldn't do it is because, first of all, if I'm going to pay $499 for a phone or even $250, the phone's going to be wireless. That, that just right off the bat. Even though I don't use it like that, but I'm going to have the bells and whistles with it. It's going to be wireless. It's going to be IP68, um, dust, waterproof, and all that stuff. Um, it, it's going to be glass on the back. I don't want no plastic. Like I, like my, I'm, I'm not paying for uh, nothing cheap if I'm paying that type of money. Uh, what else is it? Because I could care less about the camera and all this stuff because you can't do nothing when that phone is dropped in some water, cracked on the screen, uh, cracked or something like that. That that stuff's really not going to help anything. And that in-display in fingerprint sensor, like, is it's not going to work. And then you got to think about this, guys. You're going to have to get a case for the phone. You're going you're gonna to want to get a screen protector for that phone. Trust me, an in-display fingerprint sensor is harder when you have more on the screen, which I mean is when you have a, a screen protector on it, it, it gets a lot harder. It's like putting double your fingers on there. So, yeah, so that's one reason why I would not get that. Get, get that. But, I mean, hey, if you got that much money to spend, go for it. Don't let me talk you out of it. <laughs> I'm just giving my input on it. That Samsung A11 uh, 
Lord's Bright 64. Okay, I guess that's just for somebody, but not for me. The LG Aristo 5. That's terrible. The LG Stylo 6. I got to tell you, the LG Stylo 6 was really, really nice. The only thing that I did not like about the LG Stylo 6 is just that you could not transfer over any apps. And it's just like, it came with 64 gigabytes of memory, but it's just like, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, I got a good deal on it, but I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't transfer over any apps. I was like, oh man, I was like, yeah, but the look of the phone was great. The, I think they should have did a lot more with the pen. I, I really, really do. I really think that they should have had put like a little bit of Bluetooth in there, like the Note 9. I mean, that would have just set it off. It would have been, not, it would have been tight, but the phone itself is nice. I, I ain't gonna lie. That's a six point eight, and it looks beautiful. It it the the it it looks beautiful. I, I think it looks very nice. Um, so I, I mean, if anything, phone I would literally get again. It would really be that style of six. It, it's really nice. I'm not gonna lie about that. Well, I what well, I gotta say, the pen is the the downfall of that pen is it's not. It, it's just like every other style of pen, and it's. It's really crappy. Like for real, it really is. Like the the motor the the pen is terrible. Now now with the Moto G stylus, you really get your you really get your money's worth with that phone. Like seriously, like you like the phone the phone and the stylus. It's really nice. You get 128 gigabytes of storage with that Moto G stylus, and the pen is hefty. You can do a lot more with the pen than you can with the Stylus Six. But I just like because the Stylus Six is a big screen. So that's just what I wanted to say about the Metro PCS. That's what I wanted. Sorry about the guess. But that's my input on the Metro PCS uh, phones of the day. And I wanted to talk about it and let you guys know the ins and outs of it. Give you guys my little input on what's out there and what's new. So uh, visit your, your nearest Metro PCS store. If you need any questions answered, just give me a call. This is EJ Uno and I'm out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button.